As if the residents of Hawaii's Big Island don't have enough to worry about already, the U.S. Geological Survey is now warning residents of yet another threat, large rocks shooting from Kilauea Crater. Several rocks, including one measuring two feet wide, have already fallen but the situation could get even worse. It's been two weeks since Hawaii's Kilauea volcano began erupting, and there's no apparent end in sight. At least 17 fissures have been recorded in the volcano's east drift zone, and ash plumes from the crater are raising the possibility of acid rain and volcanic smog, or VOC, packed with noxious sulfur dioxide. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, is warning that the eruption is still evolving and additional outbreaks of lava are possible, along with ongoing ground deformations and earthquakes. Earlier in the week, ash emissions from the Kilauea summit reached as high as 10,000 feet above sea level, causing headaches for both residential neighborhoods and airlines. The cloud drifted downwind from the volcano, dropping dust on communities from Pihala to Discovery Harbor. On Wednesday, a 4.2 magnitude quake shook the region in the early hours and then the sky began to fall. This morning dense ballistic blocks up to 60 centimeters, 2 feet, across were found in the parking lot a few hundred yards from Halemama, wrote the USGS and its advisory. These reflect the most energetic explosions yet observed and could reflect the onset of steam-driven explosive activity. Halemama is an active pit crater nestled within the larger summit caldera of Kilauea. No damage or injuries have been reported, but the USGS is closely monitoring the projectile rock risk. Additional steam-driven explosions are expected, and it's possible they could be even more powerful. It's been nearly a century since Kailai has hurled rocks like this, according to the USGS. During steam-driven explosions, ballistic blocks up to 2 meters, 6.5 feet, across could be thrown in all directions to a distance of 1 kilometer, 0.6 miles, or more. These blocks could weigh a few kilograms, pounds, to several tons, the USGS said. Smaller, pebble size, rocks could be sent several kilometers, miles, from Halemama, mostly in a downwind direction. Since Kilauea began erupting on 3 May, dozens of homes have been destroyed, and hundreds of people have been evacuated. The lake on the summit is still in the midst of deflating, heightening the risk of violent explosions. Since a new zone of Mount Kilauea began erupting almost two weeks ago, lava had wrecked dozens of homes and forced hundreds of people to be evacuated. This is causing earthquakes and new fissures to open in the ground, and creating the risk of new, highly explosive steam-powered eruptions as the magma meets underground water. So over the past 24 hours, activity on the lower east rift zone has continued. Uh, there's been uh, active fountaining at some of the fissures, although it's kind of in decreased in activity over the last 24 hours a little bit. So fissure 17 had been pretty active with a, a active lava flow heading over a mile to the east. That's still growing, but at a really slow rate. Uh, some other fissures were active overnight, according to field crews. That includes reactivation of fissure 13. Uh, lots of gas emissions, lots of SO2 coming out of all the fissures. Uh, so activity continues on the lower east drift zone. Uh, the big action over the last day or so has been up at Hali Mau Mau Crater. Uh, yesterday morning, we started to see some uh, pretty intense ash emissions from the crater. Uh, the highest uh, that the cloud of the ash reached was about 12,000 feet above sea level, and winds were pushing that ash down to the southwest over the Kau Desert area. Uh, we had some reports of ash fall, trace amounts of ash fall uh, in the downwind direction. Because of that activity at the crater uh, that went on for a few hours, HVO raised the aviation color code from orange to red. Uh, that aviation color code uh, to red is just an indication to the aviation community uh, that there are significant amounts of ash from the eruptive activity. So we've had some questions from folks about what code red means. Uh, it sounds a little bit alarming. It's really just to say that we see significant amounts of ash from this ongoing activity uh, and to warn uh